Hi everyone, I'm Elaine Quijano. Thank you for joining us. Former FBI Director James Comey is kicking off his book tour with an interview on ABC. Hours earlier, President Trump launched a Sunday morning tweet storm aimed at Comey. The president called Comey a slime ball and slammed details from the new book. Comey's interview aired Sunday night. Here are some highlights. So he says, I hope you can let it go. What do you say? He had said, he's a good guy. I hope you can let it go. I just said, I agree he's a good guy. And there was a brief pause. And then the meeting was over. Should you have said, Mr. President, I can't discuss this with you. You're doing something improper. Maybe. Although, if he didn't know he was doing something improper, why did he kick out the Attorney General and the Vice President of the United States and the leaders of the intelligence community? I mean, why am I alone if he doesn't know the nature of the request? But it's possible that in the moment I should, you know, another person would have said, Sir, you can't ask me that. That's a criminal investigation. That could be obstruction of justice. Was President Trump obstructing justice? Possibly. I mean, it's certainly some evidence of obstruction of justice. At some point in your mind, as you're writing these notes, have you shifted to collecting evidence of a possible crime? Well, yes, in a sense. I continued to believe that there was force to the FBI general counsel's argument that we're going to have to look at the president. You're inevitably going to look at his conduct because he's the head of the campaign. We opened an investigation into whether there were any Americans associated in any way with the Trump campaign who were working with Russia as part of Russia's effort to influence our election. The trigger, Comey says, information that a Trump campaign advisor, George Papadopoulos, had met with a man who told him Russia had political dirt on Hillary Clinton. Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing. What are you thinking then as you see President Trump invite the Russians to release Hillary Clinton's emails as you see him refuse to criticize Vladimir Putin. I'm thinking the questions that we're asking ourselves, which is, is anybody, is the Trump campaign in any way working directly with the Russians? Do you think the Russians have something on Donald Trump? I think it's possible. I don't know. I, these are more words I never thought I'd utter about a president of the United States, but it's possible. That's stunning. You can't say for certain that the president of the United States is not compromised by the Russians. Yeah, it is stunning, and I wish I wasn't saying it, but it's just, it's the truth. It always struck me and still strikes me as unlikely, and I would have been able to say with high confidence about any other president I dealt with, but I can't. It's possible. You write that President Trump is unethical, untethered to the truth. Is Donald Trump unfit to be president? Yes, but not in the way I often hear people talk about it. I don't buy the stuff about him being mentally incompetent or early stages of dementia. He strikes me as a person of above average intelligence who's tracking conversations and knows what's going on. I don't think he's medically unfit to be president. I think he's morally unfit to be president. How graphic did you get? I think as graphic as I needed to be. I did not go into the business about um, people peeing on each other. And he interrupted, started talking about it. You know, do I look like a guy who needs hookers? I didn't answer that and I just moved on and explained, sir, I'm not saying that we credit this, not saying we believe it, we just thought it very important that you know. What was the look on his face? He was very defensive and started going into a list of people who had accused him of touching them improperly, sexual assault, and how he hadn't done this, he hadn't done that, he hadn't done that. Do you believe his denial? Honestly, never thought these words would come out of my mouth, but I don't know whether the, the current president of the United States was with prostitutes peeing on each other in Moscow in 2013. It's possible. But I don't know. How weird was that briefing? Really weird. I just wanted to get it done and get out.